Hello guys, uh, today I'll uh, go through the main points why, uh, what are the main reasons people fail in Forex or uh, trading. Uh, the first one is the poor money management. What that means, um, if you take too much risk and uh, your account is not um, big enough to uh, afford the losses, that means you will lose uh, uh, your money and uh, your account will be washed if you don't uh, do proper money management. So that means uh, you have to take small lots and uh, involving less money and you have to put proper stop losses uh, so that even your uh, order hits stop loss still you have enough money to play around. So other thing uh, related to this is um, uh, that um, you should be confident on your technical analysis uh, so that if uh, majority of the uh, trades fail then you will have a uh, very low balance so make sure your technical analysis is right before you start trading so always uh, do practice and do uh, historical data practice uh, or back testing uh, the number two is lack of practice uh, so as i said before the practice is very important and uh, without practice you will lose your money so most people will lose money without practice because uh, maybe you are from a different background you are not used to it uh, and uh, you are used to different uh, working patterns and with forex you have to wait you have to sit on the desks depending on what kind of strategy you're using uh, especially for day trading uh, you have to um, uh, uh, mm, if you have a software uh, which allows, uh, even uh, um, MetaTrader allows, you can put alerts on, you have to watch for the alerts and the news uh, and so on. So you have to be uh, do doing a good practice so they used to the, uh, to get used to the routine, yeah? So that's number two. And number three, no, no, not testing the strategies. Yes, that's back testing. So if you have a strategy and you you think it can be successful always back test it or if you somebody gave you a strategy or you have read it somewhere don't follow it blindly especially on the real account so make sure you back test it um, or on a demo account or just do a historical data testing uh, and uh, before you actually use it the next one is no emotional control trading with emotion rather than what the analysis shows so a lot of traders they just do uh, especially the beginners, uh, the, they can trade on the um, basis of the emotion, what they think, uh, not what the market shows. So you have to be more confident on your market analysis rather, and you should have a control on your em emotions. So do not trade because you want to trade or um, you have to trade. No, do not trade. You, you most likely you're gonna lose so make sure what the market shows and is the best time to trade is the best uh, strategy uh, one of the best strategy you are using so that uh, you can trade all right the other one is uh, so trading when there is no trading opportunity over trading that's a uh, so over trading is related to that as well so do not do over trading so meaning if there's no opportunity just do not trade knowing too much and applying too little yeah do, do not just focus on having a too much knowledge too many strategies that will not work unless you do not know how to apply them when to apply them when to enter when to exit the market so these things are very important don't just go for the uh, different courses or books unless you're sure that you need it and you can apply it and uh, be, um, you can uh, um, apply it in the future and it will be useful to you Do the, don't just buy, follow the courses blindly or, the, or read the books blindly make sure it will be useful right next one is not being regular so some trader just uh, watch uh, videos and just trade whenever they want like after three months four months uh, no it doesn't work like that you have to be regular make such a uh, set routine especially if you're a beginner then you get used to uh, to uh, the routine and 
to make a set plan to do according to the plan do not just uh, give long gaps so you will probably forget uh, the main concepts and then you have to brush up again okay next one is uh, expecting every trade to be successful or profitable do not accept uh, expect every trade to be profitable or uh, successful always bear in mind the trades can be uh, failure as well can hit a stop loss so bear in mind that don't get uh, uh, disappointed if the stop loss is hit make sure you look for uh, the reason why stop loss was hit what mistake you made or was it just the tex uh, technical analysis was right but that due to fundamental or any other reasons your uh, trade went wrong so make sure you look at the after the tra trade is uh, uh, unsuccessful okay next one is placing orders or analyzing in only one direction do not just analyze in one direction or i will take a tra trade from here there can be multiple opportunities multiple ways that uh, market can go so always consider that in mind what uh, scenarios can develop and you have to work uh, work around the way uh, around accordingly so then you can uh, be a successful trader so guys these are the main points if you are a uh, beginner especially and if you want to be a successful trader make sure you follow these rules okay guys and uh, the next uh, thing i just want to mention to you that there are, th uh, there are f uh, five o's of trading which is overconfidence don't do not be overconfidence do not uh, just um, there's no such trade that cannot uh, can be 100 percent right there's no such trade any trade have the uh, possibility to go wrong so basically trading is the game of probability so you have to bear in mind it's a probability game more probable your analysis is more then you have more possibility to be successful otherwise any trade can go wrong over trading as i mentioned do not do over trading over over leveraging do not uh, leverage too much do not uh, uh, over leverage uh, for example if account is especially it is low balance and you and you take too much leverage you don't know how many lots how much uh, volume you have to take the trade with do not trade make sure you know the basics over exposure yeah make sure you do not uh, take too big lots uh, big volume as, as i said and uh, overriding stop losses leave the stop losses according to your original um, analysis do not just uh, randomly keep changing the stop losses unless you are very sure you're confident with your skill so that's why i said initially that make you, you practice so guys if you follow these rules and uh, do not make these mistakes uh, i'm sure one day you'll be a successful trader guys thank you very much